viewers, subscribers, Kingdom Saints. Whatever your calling is in life, whatever your calling is in life, in God's will for your life, whatever it is you're calling, go for it. God will send his, his spirit to you so that you can be made whole and made complete. And he wouldn't let you know what your calling is. Some are called to be pastors. Some are called to be teachers. Some are called to be leaders. Some are called to be prophets. Some are called to be evangelists. Whatever your calling is, don't ignore it because God will give you the gifts you need to bear fruits of the testimonies of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So go for your calling. Don't ignore it. God has a plan for each and every one of us. Each and every one of us. And it's up to us to obey and to listen to his directive, his calling, his plan for our lives. Where would I be right now if I didn't obey God's calling in my life? I sure wouldn't be here right here in front of a camera testifying and giving and and give and bearing witness to Jesus and all of his goodness. Hallelujah. Amen. And I already know what my calling is. I already know that what God has planned for me to do was to reach out to others and evangelize and share testimonies and make disciples, make fishers of men. I mean, be officials of men, be a fisher of men. <laughs> yeah, that too, make fishers of men. Yeah, that too, mm -hmm. Yeah, that too, make fishers of men. Because you can be a disciple of Christ and then go out being fishers of men. You know what I'm saying? So. Whatever your calling is, go for it, brother. Go for it, sister. Don't be inhibited. We don't have the spirit of fear and timidity because God gave us the spirit of authority, power, and love, not inhibition. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not inhibition because the Holy Spirit will strengthen you. And you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Amen? Jesus said, I have overcome the world. And he also said, so shall you. Jesus said, I have overcome. You've got mail. Jesus said, I have overcome death. He also said, and so shall you. Jesus said, I have risen from the grave. And he also said, so shall you. So by knowing all these things and keeping these three things in mind, never be inhibited because you got the power of the Holy Spirit. You got the power of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. There's nothing I said, there's nothing I said. There's nothing in this world you can't do with the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So um, just get that out of your mind. Don't be inhibited. Be at peace with this world. Be at peace in Christ Jesus. Amen. And stand strong on the firm foundation of Jesus, knowing that you have been chosen. You are a vessel to serve his purpose. Amen? Because it's not about us. It's not about you. It's not about me. It's about the Jesus that lives in us and wants us to live with him eternally. Amen. Let the church say amen.
Let the church say amen. God has spoken. Let the church say amen. Ow. So go ahead and get on that soul train going straight to Jesus. Amen. Love you all. Thanks for watching, saints, viewers, subscribers.